Damascus claims that the recently concluded successful presidential elections are an important step towards strengthening internal stability in Syria, an objective that clashes with the refusal of Washington and its European allies, who in addition to maintaining the economic blockade insist on describing the elections as illegal in order to undermine stability in the Arab country. Our correspondent Hisham Wanus has more. Following the re-election of President Bashar al-Assad, the European Union announced its decision to maintain its sanctions imposed on the Syrian government for one more year until June 1, 2022. In response, the Syrian Foreign Ministry, in addition to condemning the decision as inhumane, said that just as the Syrian people and their army succeeded in defeating terrorism and its supporters through their massive turnout at the polls, they are now more determined to thwart any attempt to external pressure or interference in their internal affairs. We denounce that the decision to prolong the sanctions regime imposed on the Syrian people represents an act of genocide against the Syrian people, and we stress that the Syrian people, in spite of all the pressures, will not give up the right to self-determination and have massively demonstrated it in the presidential elections by deciding that President Bashar al-Assad is their only leader. According to several U.S. officials who illegally entered the region of Al Jazeera in northern Syria, the United States claimed that in addition to maintaining the so-called Caesar Sanctions Act, it does not consider President al-Assad as a partner, since in its opinion the elections were neither free nor fair. Damascus denounces these as hostile statements, which show that Washington is disconnected from reality. The stand of Western countries, led by the United States, shows that they deliberately ignore the massive participation of the Syrian people in the presidential elections and prove that they seek to prolong the war to serve their interests without caring about the suffering they cause to Syrian people in a serious violation of their sovereignty and independence, as well as of international laws. Only the Syrians legitimize or not the presidential elections and not the declaration of some Western officials full of fallacies and lies who claim democracy while imposing unilateral sanctions. Occupying other people's lands and stealing their resources, that is what Damascus says in rejection of all the European and American attempts to sully the independence of the Syrian national decision.